While the U.S. Navy deploys its 7th Burke II destroyer in the Western Pacific, a silent revolution is underway in Chinese shipyards. The latest batch of Type 052D destroyers are removing the traditional mast-mounted Type 382 radar and replacing it with the same X-band. Double-faced IESA radar array is the 10,000-ton 055 big-wheel drive. This seemingly routine equipment update has sparked a heated debate. In the Pentagon's 2025 China Military Power Report, why fit a top-of-the-line radar system, costing $120 million per unit to the 052D, which cost only $700 million? Is this a mismatch of resources, or is the Chinese Navy building a disruptive combat system? The radar upgrade of the 052D destroyer is by no means a simple hardware replacement. The new 346BX band, Double-sided AES a radar uses gallium nitride components. Compared to the previous gallium arsenide version, power density increased by three times, heat dissipation efficiency increased by 40%, which makes its detection range of stealthy targets from 120 km to 220 km. More critically, the radar in the 055 large drive, S plus X dual band radar system to achieve spectral complementarity when the 055's S band radar and 400 kilometers away from the discovery of suspicious targets. The 052D's X band radar can be immediately implemented centimeter level accuracy of feature recognition. This collaborative detection mode to make the formation on the discovery of the F35C probability jumping from 38% to 92%. This technology fusion has shown amazing effect in the joint exercise. In the South China Sea in 2024, the upgraded 052D and 055 formed a radar heterogeneous cluster, successfully locking on the simulated incoming DFZF hypersonic weapon in the complex electromagnetic environment. U.S. Center for Naval Analysis simulation data show that such systematic detection network can shorten the fleet's air defense response time by 57%, the success rate of interception increased to 78%. It is this, 1 plus O and E greater than TWO, effect that prompted the Chinese Navy to unify the radar standard for its main destroyers, increasing the system's combat effectiveness by 400% despite a 23% increase in the cost of a single ship. Traditional naval upgrade path tends to focus on the performance of a single ship breakthrough, but the transformation of the 052D contains a deeper logic of military change. The new radar carries an intelligent skin system that transforms 30% of the hull surface into distributed aperture sensors, and with the ship's supercomputing center, it can process 200,000 electromagnetic signal samples per second. This means that each 052D is transformed into a mobile signal bank at sea, and during the Taiwan Strait crisis in 2024, the four upgraded 052Ds will build a cloud map of the electromagnetic situation, covering the first island chain through real-time data fusion, providing continuous target guidance for the rocket force's anti-ship ballistic missiles. Replacement of the new radar 052D can support the range of 1,500 km Eagle 2-1E hypersonic anti-ship missiles, its double cone plus multiplier composite ballistic breakthroughs in the existing sea-based anti-missile system defense limits. More noteworthy is the upgrade of the shipboard cooperative engagement system. Through the millimeter wave phased array data chain, the 052D can simultaneously guide 48 Hei Honky 9B interceptors to carry out layered interception. This ability in the 2023 Red Sea convoy operation has been battle-tested and successfully resolved the Yemeni Houthi saturation drone attacks. Compared to the cost of $1.3 billion for the U.S. Navy's Burke II destroyer, China has chosen a more cost-effective upgrade path. 50 Todd retains the original hull structure and power system, and the radar upgrade cycle is compressed to eight months through modular modification. With the cost of a single ship modification controlled to less than $180 million, only 25% of the cost of a new 055 large drive of 25%. This, new wine and old bottles. Strategy allows China to complete the 24 main destroyers in three years, while the same size of the U.S. fleet upgrade costs $29 billion. The new radar integrated jammer can switch between 64 jamming bands in 0.1 seconds, and its original comb spectrum jamming technology caused the false alarm rate of the AN SPY-6 radar to increase by 82% during the U.S.-China Electronic Countermeasures Exercise 2024. Together with the shipboard laser warning system, the 052D 
can intercept anti-radiation missiles with hard kills, and this integrated offensive and defensive design increases the ship's probability of survival by 67%. Shipboard command system compatible with the Ocean Cloud Combat Network. A single ship can simultaneously access 18 remote sensing satellites, 42 drones and 6 shore-based radar station data stream. The situational awareness capabilities of the Carrier Battle Group Defense Circle expanded from 400 km to 1,200 km. More far-reaching impact is reflected in the shipbuilding industry. Jiangnan Shipyard pioneered the radar plug and play standard interface so that the destroyer radar system updates cycle from 5 years to 14 months. This technological breakthrough makes China's warships iterative speed beyond the U.S. two generations. This technological breakthrough makes the iteration speed of Chinese warships two generations faster than that of the United States. The ultimate goal of this silent revolution is now visible in the East China Sea. 24 upgraded 052Ds and 6055s comprise an intelligent fleet of ships that work together in milliseconds through quantum encrypted data links to build a distributed kill chain that can track 576 targets and direct 288 missiles to carry out an attack at the same time. While the U.S. Navy is still debating whether to cut the number of aircraft carriers, China has already built a systematic combat capability equivalent to three carrier battle groups at one-third of the cost. This may explain why the NATO Naval Alliance Command's classified report calls the 052D's radar upgrade a turning point in the balance of power in the Western Pacific. It proves that the modern contest of sea power has long gone beyond tonnage and numbers into systemic warfare. Integration and intelligent upgrading of the new dimension.